Hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, and today we're going to take a look at purchasing the Ocelot Stromberg that came as part of the Doomsday Heist, so here we go. Okay then, heading on into the facility now, and we're just going to uh, descend and then we will order that, uh, that Stromberg. Okay then, here we go, coming down now. Righty-o, jolly good. Okay then, the uh, Stromberg can be found under the Warstock Cash and Carry website, and there we go. Okay, jolly good right now, just scrolling, scrolling down a bit, I should say. Okay, there we go. Now you can see it generally retails at a price of two million, uh, well, just under two and a half billion, two mil, two million three hundred ninety-five thousand there, uh, on sale when I was purchasing it for. Uh, uh, 1,796,000, so I'm getting rather a steal there. Okay, and I'm going to have it delivered to my facility, because after all, that is where it belongs. Okay, now we've got not much to do now, but wait until the uh, Stromberg is delivered, so I think I'll have a quick cigarette while we wait. And like I say, uh, the Stromberg was part of the uh, Doomsday Heist that came as part of the facility, and... Uh, as such, it does feel only right to store it into, uh, as it is a weaponized vehicle as well, rather than putting it in my office garage. I think I'll put it, uh, I think I'll put it in here. Right, it's got to arrive shortly, surely. Oh, love of God, I've been waiting rather a long time for this bloody car. Ah, there we go. Okay, then, jolly good. So here we go, the Ocelot Stromberg. Uh, based upon, uh, the James Bond car, I would assume, which wasn't, a. Uh, uh, which, uh, that was a Lotus, I do believe, a Lotus Esprit. Uh, the Ocelot in this game seem to, uh, generally refer to Jaguars, don't you know? And so I don't quite know why this is an Ocelot, but, uh, I suppose because it's a British sports car and there aren't all, uh, all that many about nowadays, so they've lumped Lotus and Ocelot and, uh, Jaguar together, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure, I don't know. Right, okay, now, uh, as this is a weaponized vehicle, to modify it, we're going to need to, uh, take it to the bunker now at this point in the gameplay unfortunately I don't have an Avenger even though uh, I do pick one up in the very near future shortly after purchasing this vehicle but at the moment like I say don't have an Avenger so unfortunately I'm gonna have to take it to my bunker and to my MOC in order to upgrade it and there we go okay then jolly good Right, heading on inside now. Now, as always, during this time, we do speed up the gameplay to uh, hurry things along someone. After all, these uh, upgrades can take some time, really. And uh, if you are interested in having a look at the options there, you can always pause and go through. Okie dokie, just doing some of the standard options here. Uh, the turbo, the engine, and whatnot. Okay, do we want tinted windows? Hmm, yes, I think we do on this particular vehicle. Okay, you certainly have bulletproof tires as well, I think. Okie kokey, right. I think I'm going to keep it in the white, you know. I'll maybe have a flip through some of the colors. Oh, how about that? It's two-tone. Oh, right, jolly good. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Okay, very nice, very nice. Yes, I do quite like that. How about that? Yes, it does look quite interesting now, doesn't it? Yes. But I, uh, and the crew color? Well, it's shocking, but... Uh, I think I could live with it, but I, I do prefer the white, to be perfectly frank with you. Okie okay, dokie, okay, right, well, here we go then. Uh, we've uh, upgraded the Ocelot uh, Stromberg. Let's take it out and see how she handles, shall we? Okay, now, the video's cut ahead there, unfortunately, but that's okay, because I'm about to launch into the river, don't you know? And here we go, right, oh, bloody hell. Right, okay, that didn't go the way I hoped at all. Yes, uh, I had set myself up there to... Uh, to give you an indication of the uh, particular benefits of this vehicle and uh, hit a rock, didn't I? Yes, anyway, so if you're not aware, the whole point of the Stromberg, like I say, it's based on the 007 Lotus Esprit, and this car, as you're about to see, can go underwater, and here we go, jolly good. Right here, now we're underwater, normally they'd be game over at this point, but simply by pressing right on the D-pad, we can uh, turn this car into a submersible, don't you know, a kind of a car submarine. And as you can see, we're in the Alamo Sea here, and so we're just going to go, whoops, it days, it's bought my phone for absolutely no reason. Yes, yeah, like I say, we're in the Alamo Sea here, and as you can see, it's uh, doing quite nicely, bobbing around. We'll just have a little explore, have a little look around. There's not much really down here to have a look at, to be quite frank with you. Uh, haven't been able to find the plane from the single-player mission. Don't even know if it's down here. Don't suspect that it is. What's that? That's rather interesting, isn't it? 
Okie Koki, right well enough of having a look around the Alamo Sea. It is rather boring down there, so let's uh let's see if we can't head on out to the main sea itself, to the ocean, don't you know? Okay, and to get there I think we'll be um I think that's Cassidy Creek that we're heading towards. I don't think that's the Zancudo River. Right, okay then here we go. Water's getting a lot shallower now, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Okay, well that's uh, some sort of post or whatnot. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, Koki, right, and here we are. Yes, we're in the river itself. How about that? Okay, yes, very shallow, isn't it? Yes, and as you, as I say, this is a uh, this is Cassidy Creek. I do believe that we're heading down now. And as you can see, the uh, the Stromberg they're having absolutely no problems whatsoever in navigating it. Okay, Koki, here we go. And look at that. That's rather beautiful, isn't it? So the Ocelot Stromberg, what can one say about this car? Well, first of all, it, uh, like I say, oh hell, we're coming up to a waterfall now. Okay, let's see how it handles this, shall we? Full speed ahead and all that. Okay, and splash. Oh, that was rather jolly good, wasn't it? Over the waterfall in the air and all. Okay, cokey, right. Okay, we just keep on heading down, I suppose, till we get to the, uh, till we get to the estuary. Yes, look at that. The sun shining rather nicely, and it is, uh, Quite nice. I've been down this uh, river on jet skis and uh, swimming and uh, on boats, all sorts of things really, but never been uh, in a submersible down this river, so it's, it's rather interesting seeing it from this viewpoint. Okay, we've got a, another waterfall here, we'll give this one a go, so whoops, it dazes up on the rocks, and okay, not too good that time, was it? Oops, okay, right. Am I stuck? Okay, what's going on here? Right, no, okay, good, right, okay, no problem at all. Loose and clear, don't you know, we're uh, heading on down. Uh, it's very, it's quite nice looking a little from that angle, isn't it? Uh, the submerged angle, so just, whoops, uh, I hit the ground again. Okie cokey, right, okay, there we go. We'll try and keep the camera under there as much as we can. It is rather tricky, this water being so shallow, and did exactly the same thing again, how about that? Right, and there we go. Okay, this is tricky. Right, okay, now what's going on? Ended up on the banks again, didn't I? Okay, right, well, you got torpedoes there. Unfortunately, the, uh, this is a weaponized vehicle, like I say. Unfortunately, the problem with the torpedoes on this particular vehicle is, uh, nothing to fire them at, really, unless you're going to be shooting fish or rocks. Uh, you can only imagine the only other thing you could possibly be firing at would be another Stromberg, but, uh, the chances of you being out in this ocean and running into another player in a Stromberg really is quite doubtful, to be quite honest. Very low prospect of that happening. Uh, so, no, I really... Whoops, that days is... Uh, yeah, so not much use for these torpedoes, but, uh, on ground, this, uh, vehicle is actually quite, uh, quite menacing, and, but we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, Koki, so like I say, what can one say about this particular car? Came as part of the Doomsday Heist, like I say, tops out around about 2.4 million, I do believe, that's before the upgrades. Does come equipped, uh, as you can see, with a submersible function, the only car to my knowledge in this game that does so. Uh, also, this car, as you can see, is weaponized, whilst on the ground it has missiles, and whilst in the, uh, water it has torpedoes as i say the torpedoes are entirely useless right okay then now we've hit the ground there i think we might have to put the wheels in yes okay right we've grounded it there okay so let's go ahead and get the wheels out now by uh, pressing r uh, right on the uh, d-pad there and back into the water okay and straight onto some rocks okay that wasn't the sm right okay i really balls it up here now haven't i Okie cokey, right, we'll try getting the wheels out one more time, has that worked? Right, okay, there we go, alright, salvaged it after all, and back into submersible mode, and off we go. Yes, like I say, so those torpedoes effectively are entirely useless. The missiles themselves are quite good, they are very similar to the, the, the Deluxo missiles, or the Ruiner missiles, they, uh, they do lock on and they do hit pretty much everything that you fire at. Okay, look at that, a beautiful sunset, and straight onto the rocks, really should have been watching where I was going now, shouldn't I? Okey cokey, right, wheels back out, that's uh, right on the D-pad, and can I get it off these rocks? Yes, I think I can, you know. Right, actually, now I think about it, I think I want to go in a, right, we'll back into the water, but I, I do fancy giving this uh, car a test on the road, don't you know? Unfortunately, that camera did cut out, so perhaps a little bit of road action wouldn't go amiss at this point. As you can see, we've navigated Cassidy Creek uh, quite, quite uh, comfortably there in this vehicle. No problems at whatsoever. Whoops, at daisies. No problems whatsoever, really. And, uh, okay, best place to take up onto land. Where am I going to go? Right, okie kooky. Well, there's a beach to the left of me. And, uh, is there anywhere else that I can get to? No, I don't think there is. 
Right, okie dokie, what's going on over here? Okay, now what was I saying? Something about the, oh, bloody hell, not again. Right, okay, put on the rocks. Really, I'm having a terrible time with this, aren't I? Right, okie dokie, but right, now what's happened? Okay, right, back into boat mode. Okay, well, I suppose it's giving you an idea of how you can rescue yourself from different situations there, should you become beached, and, uh, okay, camera skipped out a little bit there. Right, like I say, you can, uh, you can flip back and forth between driving mode and, uh, submersible mode to get yourself off rocks and such, should you need it. Okay, now we're on the land, like I say, I do fancy taking this for a little drive, give you a, give you a idea of its handling and top speed and so forth. So, okay, this isn't the place to test top speed, though, is it? This is a winding, winding, dusty track. Okay, then, right then, uh, right, I'm gonna get up onto the main road there and, uh, see if we can't just put these weapons to some use. Okie cokey, there we go. Right, what's going on? I can't get up there, clearly. Right, okay, that looks like the place for me. Right here, jolly good, and no, there's a barrier. Okay, absolutely bloody typical, don't you know? Right here, okay, never mind, I'll try and see it's got to end somewhere down here, surely one would expect, and it's not going to, it's just going to keep going and going, oh, jolly, jolly good. Right, okay, this is rather irritating now, isn't it? There has to be a break in this at some point, surely, right, okay, we're getting the speed going there, and whoops, the daisies, okay, right now I'm completely screwed again, aren't I? Right, okay, can we get through here? We go. That's wood, that should be, it. right, okay, one more time, and... Yes, there we go, okay, and there would be a car park there, of course, this really is rather irritating. Okay, then, so here we go, the Ocelot Stromberg on the land. Now, uh, I would like to take it up to my yacht there and see if I can just moor it at my yacht, see if Rockstar have gone ahead and uh, equipped this vehicle with that particular facility. And in the meantime, yes, I think I'll test out my weapons. Right, there we go. Now, you will notice at this point that uh, my car did not sustain much damage from that... Uh, a very close by explosion and that is because this vehicle has a rather sort of hidden weapon really a sneaky card up its sleeve so to speak okay right here we go boom as you can see these missiles really are absolutely fantastic okay and unlike i was saying now this uh, this vehicle's dirty little secret so to speak is that it is absolutely uh, armored to hell quite frankly this vehicle can take four or five rocket blasts would you believe before it finally gives in uh, making it somewhat of a tank, really, a small tank, admittedly, and lightly armoured, but yes, certainly doesn't take the one, uh, the one missile that the Deluxo takes, or most other cars. Uh, really is very heavily armoured. Okay, right, the police are after me, as you've seen, uh, the missile's quite good fun there, and I think I'm just going to run away to my yacht. Okay, Koki, as I say now, unfortunately, uh, I won't be able to, uh, won't be using the, the torpedoes because there's nothing to aim at, but I hope you get an idea there for the, uh, for the missiles and the car. Right, I'm coming up now to my yacht, seeing if I, seeing if I can dock. Is there any way to press, press R1 or something like that, maybe? Right, okay, right, okay, maybe not. Right, now I've hopped out the car there. Where the hell is the car, for that matter? Ah, there we go, okie dokie, right, there we go. Right, now I'm going to bring it in for another go, see if we can't, uh, like I say, see if we can't just line up against this this uh, yacht here. Okie koki, hopping out and hopping to the surface, and okay, there we go with a bit of luck. The car will stay just no, it's not going to, is it? My way, someone driving there? Is that the currents? Goodness me, look at that. Right, okay, oh, we're gonna have one more go, I think, here, right here. Okay, one more go, I like it, right, popping out, popping to the surface, and with a little bit of luck, it'll stay right there. Okay, now it's still drifting off in that direction again, isn't it? That really is rather annoying, it seems to be caught on some kind of current there. I wonder, I wonder maybe if I get behind it, if I can push it back or stop it from going. Right, no, don't seem to be able to, do I? Right, okie okay, dokie, well that does seem to be rather fruitless, but I, like I say, it does seem to be drifting in one direction, so I'm thinking maybe if I wedge it between uh, the Lampadati boat or whatever it is, uh, there we go, now I'm going to hop out, wedge it between that and the yacht, and hopefully it'll drift forward between those two and get stuck. Right, hasn't worked, has it? Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Now the thing about this car, once you, as you've been able to see, I can quite easily hop out during, uh, while it's in its submersible mode, and it doesn't, uh, doesn't sink or have any problems like that, and I can hop back in just simply by pressing triangle, which I'll give you a quick look at now. 
Okay, there we go, underwater, pressing triangle, and there, there we go, Stromper popping up, and if I press triangle, once again, I'm back in, there is no animation to open the door or anything, it'd be ridiculous, really, because the war car would flood with water, wouldn't it? Okay, we're going to give it a go one more time, a little bit deeper here, as you can see, now I'm going to hop out, and there it goes, popping to the surface, that's something else to note, perhaps, of this vehicle, now I'm going to press triangle, and simply hop back inside, okay, there we go, so, like I say, a couple of things to mention about this car, really, once underwater, uh, does, uh, if you should uh, decide to get out of the car, that doesn't represent a problem, it'll just float to the surface, which is quite handy, really. Okay, Koki, uh, like I say, coming in at, uh, what, 2.39 million, was it, something like that, comes equipped with, uh, missiles and torpedoes, uh, has rather sturdy armor, I mean, this, some, this vehicle really, okay, look, there it goes again, drifting off into the distance, that really is rather annoying. Okay, yes, this uh, this car really is somewhat of an oppressor Mark II killer, I do believe, uh, as it takes, like I say, a substantial amount of rocket blows to destroy it. Okay, okay, so there we go, the uh, the Ocelot Stromberg, and uh, like I say, really is a rather interesting car, really, so, uh, yes, just punched up water, why not? Okay, okay, maybe there was a crab down there. Right, okay, right, what's going on? I think I'm going to have to go back and get this car right. Okay, that's not going the right way whatsoever. Yes, yeah, like I said, the Ocelot Stromberg, uh, it comes equipped with missiles, comes equipped with torpedoes, uh, has a submersible function, you can hop out when in water, that's not a problem. Uh, it is heavily armoured, rather good, to be quite frank with you. Uh, okay, but uh, doesn't more up to the otters has been more than evidenced by this little experiment here. Okey cokey, well, never mind, I suppose, ladies and gentlemen, they can't think of everything of Rockstar, I suppose. Now, you may well be wondering what should happen if you're underwater and accidentally switch from submersible mode to the vehicle mode, so let's go ahead and find that out right now. Okey cokey, there we go, floating down, wheels out, but the, the car hasn't in any way destroyed itself. Okay, just gets the option, gives us the option to uh, to switch back into submersible mode, and that really is quite nice. So you really don't have any worries taking this vehicle out into the water. You can jump out and it won't represent a problem. You can uh, accidentally switch back into drive mode and that won't represent any problem either. Okay, so you can spend hours, if you like, exploring the uh, the nooks and crannies of the uh, underwater world of around Los Santos, although I can't imagine why on earth you would. Okay then, so here we go, now this is the Stromberg on land, a rather nippy car, it's uh, not the fastest car in the game, top end certainly isn't going to match the Wagner or anything like that, handling's okay, acceptable for a sort of vehicle, a uh, sports car, but again, nothing like the Zentorno or the Wagner. Uh, should you buy it? Well, I, I get no ab absolutely no use from it, perfectly honest, except for, uh, except for this video. So, I hope you've enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.